Hey guys, so I'm going to be filming the, all the stuff on my bed is for the video, but I'm going to be filming the best of 2014 tag, and I've been meaning to do this video, but I've been, I love it. I've just been so busy shopping, hanging out with family and stuff, so uh, let's get started. Alright, so number one is most worn clothing item. So I have a shirt, well not a shirt, but a sweater. And some jeans. So my most worn jeans is let me take them off the hanger. Is these jeans? I mean, they're not. I mean, I like them, but they're like they look like this. The most reason I wore them, there's nothing on the butt pocket. But the most reason I wore wear them is because like they're come to be they're comfortable to me. And me being five foot, I'm pretty short. Most jeans are way too long on me, but those are like the perfect length, so they don't drag or anything. They're just so comfortable, and yeah, I love them. I need to get another pair because I wear those like every week, which, yeah, they're just comfortable to me. Alright, let me take this stuff off of the sweater, so it won't get messed up. Alright. So, this is the most worn sweater, which you might have saw my winter delicious tag, but it's this sweater, and I found it at Walmart for $5 on sale, and it's so cozy and soft, and it's like kind of an ombre type of thing, because it goes from light brown to like medium brown to dark brown. It's a knitted sweater too, and it's really comfy, and I just love it. That's my most worn thing for the winter. I don't really remember what I wore. Well, winter and fall. I don't remember what I wore the most in the spring or summer, so I can't really say. So, number three, I mean, number two is fit. Most worn shoes. My most worn shoes are definitely, definitely, definitely my white Converse. Um, they're getting kind of dirty, which I need to wash them. I've actually dropped hot chocolate on it, and it was like a big, I got a text message, it was like a big brown stain, oh my gosh, I was so mad, but then I used bleach to wash it, and how you use bleach to wash Converse, you don't just pour a whole bunch of bleach on it, that makes it yellow, you get a toothbrush, and you dip it in the bleach, and you scrub the area where you need the bleach, you don't like put it all over the shoe, because once you wash it, it'll go all on the shoe. So, yeah, but I need to wash them again. And if you want, I can do a video on how to wash Converse, white Converse. So, like or comment if I should do that video. Number three is favorite foundation. And I don't wear makeup, so. And then number four, number five, and number six contain makeup, so I can't really answer those. Alright, but number seven is favorite nail polish. And I don't m wear nail polish much, but when I do, I usually put on this color. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. This color. Oh, am I even on it? Yeah, I usually wear this color. And... Sorry, my hand is like in the camera. And I don't know what it's called, but I like the color. It's like a peachy kind of pink. So every time I paint my nails, I usually put on this, which is not much. So number eight is favorite perfume. Well, this isn't really perfume, but it's a fragrance, whatever. I don't know the difference between fragrance and perfume, but so I get this from Bath and Body Work, and it's called Mad About You. And it smells so, 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 so good. Oh my god, I love it. I don't know if you saw that or not, but I sprayed it at the camera. But it's called Mad About You. It smells so good. I wear this like every day, mostly. So yeah. Number nine is favorite hair product or two. So, I don't flat on my hair much. I usually wear it curly, so... But this is, oh, the stuff I like to wear most on it. It's a 
It's by Cantu in the Argon Argon Oil. And then it's a leave-in conditioner repair cream, which you put this on your hair after you wash it. And it makes my hair so soft, like, oh my gosh, I love it. And it smells good too. I don't I'll show you what it looks like. It smells really good. What does it just look like that? It's kind of a pasty type of stuff, but it smells so 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 good. And yeah, it's about a can too. And yeah. And then number ten is favorite snack. My favorite snack this year has been mostly chips. Either chips or a cup of cereal, because, I don't know, I just like, I like eating cereal out of a cup, so, but yeah, it's mostly chips, like, whatever chips we have in our, for I'm too close, whatever chips we have in our, um, in our pantry, and then that's what I eat. Now I feel like I'm too far. Whatever. Okay. And next is favorite phone app. And I'm gonna scroll through my phone, and it's probably Instagram. Also, if you want a what's on my phone, that was loud. If you want a what's on my phone tag thingy thingy, I'll do that too. It just looked like the lighting change. Ugh. Struggle using natural lighting. Also, I'm on my floor. If you didn't know. Yeah, Instagram is probably my favorite app. I'm like, I go on Instagram probably 10 times out of a day or more. All right, now number 12 is favorite TV show. My favorite TV show for 2014 is probably Finding Carter or Dance Moms. If you don't know what Finding Carter is, oh my gosh, you need to watch it. Or Red Band Society. Those are my three favorites. Dance Moms, I think everybody knows what Dance Moms But Final Carter is where this girl, she was kidnapped by this woman that she believed was her mother, but it really wasn't. And then her actual parents found her. You should just go watch it. Just go watch it. It's such a good show. Alright, number 13 is Favorite Movie. I have three favorite, no. I have one favorite movie, which is The Fault in Our Stars. Oh my goodness gracious. I love that movie so much. I read the book. The book is, to me, is actually better than the movie. But yeah, I like the movie too. And then number 14 is top three songs. My favorite top three songs for 2014 is Problem by Ariana Grande, Feet, Iggy, Azalea. And then two is um, Partition by Beyonce. And then three is Stay With Me by Sam Smith. I think this one came out in 2013, but I came to know it in 2014, and I love it. Alright, now 15 is most watched YouTube channel. My, my most watched YouTube channel is definitely the Levine Light. If you don't know them, it's this couple. They have two little babies. They are so cute. I love their channel. And yeah, I just love watching their videos. And then number two is definitely the Shade Tarts. I've been watching them for like three years, so I love their channel videos and all, especially their Christmas specials. Yas. And number 16 is Store Most Visited. Visit the store I probably most visit throughout 2014 is probably the mall. I can't say like which, I can't pinpoint like which store I visit the most. But definitely the mall, because I go with my mother all the time. I go with friends all the time. So, yeah. The mall. And then number 17 is favorite item purchase. My favorite item purchase is definitely my camera. Let me get the box. Definitely my camera. It's a... Which I've shown this in what I got for Christmas. Well, I got it for my birthday, but it's in the video of what I got for Christmas. But it's a Samsung DV150F. Yeah, and I got it in the color purple, and yeah, the color purple, get it, <laughs> that's a movie, if you didn't know, but yeah, that's my favorite, most pur purchased item, and then my favorite lip product is, where is it at, where is it at, I don't know where it's at,
Oh, here it is. Okay. So, my favorite lip product of 2014 is definitely my Vaseline Lip Therapy. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it's the Lip Therapy and the flavor of Cocoa Butter. And I've went through three of these this year. So, yeah. Love that. And then my favorite accessory is definitely these earrings which were also on my winter wishes tag i would say my clown necklace that i got for my birthday but i've only worn it for a month so i've worn these all year but it's these sparkly like i said they look like disco balls to me but i really love them and they go with everything so yeah those and then number 20 is best lesson. The best lesson best lesson I learned this year is you gain friends and you lose some. If that's not clear to you, then I don't know what's clear. Like, you gain friends, you make friends, and you lose some. So, yeah. And then 21 is favorite memory. My favorite memory. My favorite memory this year is probably, I don't know, that's a hard question. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> no, but um, definitely hanging out with friends is one of them. Like any time, all basically all the times I've hung out with friends, we've had fun. Um, Christmas was a good memory too. Um. Um, favorite memory. I don't know. That that's hard. I can't come up with one favorite memory. But yeah, definitely times I've hung out with friends. Christmas was a good memory. Hanging out with family. Yeah, I can't pinpoint one. So. Yeah, that is the end of the best of 2014 tag. I tag all of you out there who's watching this video to go do this video because, yeah, why not? So, yeah, bye guys, and I hope you have a good Christmas Eve. Or, yeah, Christmas, no, not Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve and New Year's. So, bye guys. Hey guys, I hope you all have a great New Year's Eve and New Year's. I hope you all had a great Christmas and especially I hope you all had a great 2014 because I know I did. I'm planning on doing vlogs in the year of 2015 and definitely more videos since I have a camera. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video and subscribe, comment, and like. Bye guys.